The next thing I'd like to talk about, just going through this menu, the appearance HTML, very similar types of things that we'll talk about later on, but where we would want to go now are the links. Now, we haven't put any hyperlinks on our page, and if we had, they would have come up with this color blue. We're going to come. Our headings are the next category here under Page Properties, and we will be coming back here at a later point to play with these, but at this point, a simple explanation is that when we want to give consistent style to a page, for example, my super informative title, my big banner over here, I would traditionally want that to be very large and very decorative so it stands out. In that case, I might give it a heading one. My tagline, which is usually not as important, is usually much smaller. I might give that a smaller heading, such as a heading four. We're going to come back and talk about headlines or headings in a moment. Let's move on to title and encoding. And because we started out with the default page, there are some pieces already set up for us here. But generally speaking, for our level of understanding, the document type should always be XHTML 1.0 transitional. There are others. And the title of the page, this little phrase here, starter page, is not necessarily the content banner of your page or what you might think of as the title of your page. Notice that it also appears up here on that page. This is a piece of text that goes into your browser when a visitor bookmarks your website or they click on it and this appears in their tab. This does become very important and it is a sign of better, better done web pages if you've addressed this. So let's go ahead and make sure this, that we know how to do this, and we're going to call this practice page one. Notice that as soon as I change this, it's going to change up here as well. For the moment, I'm going to click on apply. It's not going to actually change until I back out of here. Let me go ahead and show you one more piece, this tracing image. This is not something that we would deal with here at our level, but where this comes into play is that if a graphic artist has built a graphic image of a page and would then like to start creating a page based off of that graphic. We can basically lay in a large image file in the background and use that as kind of a background for our tracing imagery for layout purposes. Again, not something we would deal with at this point. So off of our page properties, once again, the appearance is something we would play with. We will eventually come back and learn how to use the links and we will learn how to use the heading. For the moment, let's go ahead and click OK. And notice up here it has changed to practice page one. I have made some changes on my starter page. I'm going to click on file and save. And I will be back in a moment or two to talk about hyperlinks.